Well here's my next little model aircraft project. This is the flight test Mini F-22 and I just love F-22s. I did really want to build one of these. It's such a great looking plane. So I've got the kit here from Sussex Model Centre. I've got speed controller Esky. This is 20 amp one from Hobby King plus a couple of little servos from Hobby King. I'm still on 35 megahertz believe it or not. Yes I'm probably one of the last people in the country to and I bought a second hand receiver for 11 quid off eBay. They say use six channel, well you don't need six channels, all you need is throttle and elevons, so four channels should do fine. Plus I've got a spare CF2805 and in my experience it's powerful enough with a five inch prop for a 300 gram all up weight model and two or three S, so I'm going to start with that. I've even splashed out and bought a glue gun because it's the quick and speedy way to actually put this together. I was going to use Yuhu Paw but apparently this does a much stronger better job. So I'm not going to do a great big build blog on this because there's a huge long flight test build blog on YouTube 30-40 minutes but once it's put together I'll show you what it looks like and then I'm going to paint it up and go and fly it. So watch this space. Come back in about a week or two or with a bit of love. Or actually I know people who put together one of these in an evening. Comes with all the kind of little push rods and bits and pieces, engine mounts and so on that you need. So watch this space. Wish me luck.
and there it is and if you don't know how elevons work you've got roll that way and you've got up down elevator in other words that way so that is the equivalent of ailerons and that's the equivalent of elevator and of course that's the throttle and as you can see plenty of thrust there so that's that for now given a nice day it's raining at the moment given a nice day i'll see if i can get some video of a flight test right well a few days later i did get out for some flight tests and this is what the model looks like after a few flight tests but also i learned a lot about this model and what worked and what didn't first off the 2805 wasn't powerful enough or either that or in fact I've got two here that were defective because I did kind of just about manage to get it flying but the motor wasn't very happy so I've substituted this motor for another little motor I had lying around which was a Tornado Blitz KB1300 which apparently it says will power slow flyers well over 700 grams well this is only about 300 or 3D models with a 2S or 3S. Well with a 3S this little tiny motor did actually give me some flight although pretty much needed to be at full throttle so I'd actually ordered another motor the recommended one which is probably the way to go which is this one here from Banggood should get that in a couple of weeks and then I'll come back and give you some more flight test information on this. So it was great to fly. I wouldn't call it a beginner's model. It's quite lively. But the other problem I had was I hate throwing models. So the first thing that happened was using the left hand discus throw method. I bent the wing as you can see. So I've reinforced it again with some cocktail sticks. That was the first problem I had. And the other little mod I made, which has been successful, to help me throw it and not use the discus throw, I've actually glued a little thing on under here. I was slightly worried that as you throw, your hand gets hit by the prop, but in fact that didn't happen. So that was one little mod I've made. In fact, while we're under here, the most important mod I made was, as I discovered, to get the COG right, instead of the receiver being in here because adding weight here doesn't do a lot of good with the center of gravity here any weight you add here makes quite a bit of difference to the attitude of this so i've had to move the receiver as far back as i can get it i suppose i could actually put it as far as that back and now with a 3s in here it sits quite nicely here and in fact I can even move it further back if I want to put some FPV stuff on. This has got a bit battered over my test flying. One thing that happened was this just started sliding in so I've actually put a couple of little fillets of foam in here so that actually sits okay there and I've actually glued a little hinge on here as well which makes life a bit easier. That was successful. As I mentioned great to fly but quite lively I'm not sure it would be great for a beginner wing and when they mentioned flying it in small yards I'm not quite sure about that it might be that I'm not using the recommended prop as you can see I'm using this three blader so somewhere along the line I'll probably switch and start using the recommended prop as well in fact I would suggest the best thing to do is go with the recommended prop other slight mod I did was as you saw before the antenna came out here somewhere my 35 meg antenna I've taken it out through here now so it's well clear of the prop and as I say also launching if you can hold it here makes it much easier than this discus throw idea so you do live and learn as you go along with these things it's often a question of experimentation to finding the right prop motor lipo combination oh as you can see too I've added a few more stripes but the other thing I discovered was acrylic paint doesn't actually work on these it's just scratched itself and come off to hell but it is very durable because I had a lot of crashes in my flight testing so watch this space once my motor arrives I'm going to come back and give a bit more information 
and hopefully get this flying really well. And what else can I add? I'm very glad that I put a model finder in which sits conveniently down there, one of these things that beep beeps, because that lovely bleeping makes it so much easier to find a model when it's lost in long grass or bushes. So I would recommend fitting a model finder. Fortunately where I was flying I had very long grass and bushes which meant crashing wasn't too much of an issue because it landed in quite soft stuff but it did mean it wasn't always easy to find. Well that's about it. Hope you found this useful. Great fun. It's been a while since I've built a model plane. If you have found it useful why not click on subscribe just down there somewhere. I've got another action camera test coming up soon. I've just got one arriving in a couple of days. 51 camera tests on my channel and if you're bored and it's a wet day check out some of the paragliding, paramotoring, sailing and other videos I've got there. Okay so that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Happy flying and I'll catch you again soon.